The news plays a very important role in our day-to-day -day lives. For a lot of us, it's the first thing that we check when we wake up in the morning. Maybe it's the first thing that we look at when we get back from work. Either way, it's integrated into our daily lives and it shapes our perspective on the world around us. It may impact our political views. It can even have an impact on the way that we interact with people around us and the decisions that we make on a daily basis. So when I saw this app, Buzzbreak, a new app that has over half a million downloads and is claiming to pay you for reading the news, I was definitely curious, but heavily skeptical at the same time. And the more I looked into it, the more skeptical I became. That's because Buzzbreak offers news from a ton of different sources. These range from NPR and CNN to other sources like the Daily Mail. And there's a serious flaw in the way that they reward you for watching these different types of news. And if you're familiar at all with Pavlovian theory, then you'll know that Pavlov liked to reward certain behaviors and condition those behaviors by offering positive reactions to those behaviors. So let's look at how this applies to the Buzzbreak app. When you log in, you can scroll the newsfeed and pick which articles you want to read. Now, all of these articles will reward you about five points for browsing 20 to 30 seconds. As long as you are scrolling the page, it looks like you're actively browsing and the Buzzbreak app will reward you for doing this. Now there's a wide variety of sources here, but as I mentioned previously, all of these are rewarded the same. So you're rewarded that same five points for browsing a CNN article or an NPR article as you are for browsing the Daily Mail. So whether you realize it or not, the Buzzbreak app is going to have some unintended consequences the more that you use the app. You see, Buzzbreak is rewarding sources like NPR the same as Daily Mail, and that's conditioning you to value these sources the same. So now your perspective of the external world, which in a lot of ways is influenced by the news that you read, is being compromised because you're taking sources that have less credibility and you're allowing that to mold your perspective on the outside world. And in a modern world where there's so much information floating around, we're bombarded by it every time we use our smartphone, every time we log on to our laptop to do any sort of work, even when we're watching the television, we have to choose very wisely what types of sources are coming in and what the credibility of those sources are. But you might be saying to yourself, wait a minute, I'm getting rewarded to watch the news. I wanna get paid to do this. I don't really care too much about the credibility issue. I wanna start making some money. So let's break down exactly how much money Buzzbreak is actually gonna be paying out to its users. So when I first downloaded the app, Buzzbreak gave me a nice little sign up bonus. And it first of all started paying me out pretty well when I was reading these articles. I was making like 15 to 20 points every time I read an article, but after you know an hour or so, I started to see the real reward that Buzzbreak was going to give me for reading every article going forward. And that came out to be about five points for every article. So the way that Buzzbreak payout works is they pay out through PayPal and every 1000 points that you earn is worth one cent. So remember that you're paid out for every 20 to 30 seconds of reading. So let's just say for simple math that it takes 30 seconds to get through a single article. That means that you're making five points for every 30 seconds of your time. And at a thousand points per one cent, this comes out to be 166 hours for a single dollar. But it's not that simple. There's a max of 50 articles per day that you're allowed to be rewarded for on the Buzzbreak app. If we do the math on this, this would cap us at a fourth of a cent per day. And that means that it's gonna take us about one year to earn a single dollar on the Buzzbreak app. Now this math does assume that you're simply using the app to read articles, to get the news and get paid for that. There are other ways to earn money on the app. You do make money on that sign up bonus. You can make money by referring friends. You can watch a daily video and check in on that streak and earn uh, sometimes up to 100 or 200 points a day just for that. But all in all, it's not gonna speed up your track to getting to that dollar much more quickly. Even if you're working really, really hard to get to that dollar as fast as you can, it'd be hard to imagine earning a dollar on the Buzzbreak app in faster than three to six months. So you have to sit back and ask yourself, is compromising my perspective of the world around me, the credibility of the news that I put into my mind, which shapes my perspectives, my interactions with people and my political views, is that worth making a single dollar a year? Hopefully your answer to that question was no, but at the end of the day, you have the freedom to make your own choices, whatever those might be, you know, you get to make those decisions on your own, 
But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit it as much as you can, hit it till it turns blue, and make sure you subscribe to this channel for all of the latest updates, gig economy news, and side hustles. Share this with your friends because we need to get this information out to the people who need it the most.